Greetings and welcome to this edition of Positronic Hypersonic. I'm Barry P. Cook, and I'm here to do a live reaction for you to the trailer for Star Wars The Acolyte, which was just released. Now, I don't know too much about this show. I haven't read much about it. I haven't seen many videos about it or anything. I know that the basic premise is that it's set at the end of the High Republic era, uh, about 100 years before Episode One. And it's about a former Padawan who reunites with her master to investigate a series of crimes, at which point they find that the forces they're confronting are more sinister than they ever anticipated. That's from the synopsis on Wikipedia. It should be interesting in that a lot of it will be new ground. And I think that's one thing that Star Wars needs right now is to get away from the Skywalker era and the immediate periods, you know, before and after it. So let's check out the trailer. Close your eyes. Your eyes can okay, deceive you. So younglings being taught the ways of the force. We must not trust them. Ooh. Oh, purple. I like that. Tell me what comes into your mind. Mm, shadowy figure. Life. Life, good answer. Balance. Balance, good answer. I see fire. Oh boy, keep an eye on that one. Carrie Ann Moss, okay. Like I said, I didn't, oh wow, she's really kicking ass. Oh, 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 okay, oh, okay, we've seen that before. Who is that chick? Someone is killing anyway, Jedi. Oh. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, all right. Oh, what? what happened? I said Oh, that guy was just Jedi mind trick. Oh, darkness. Oh, it's darkness. Oh! Oh! Oh. Oh. This isn't about good or bad. Whoa! This is about power. Mm. And who is allowed to use it? What is that? Whoa! Whoa! All right. Whoa! Oh, it's gonna go down. Oh, what the hell? Okay. A double episode premiere in June on Disney, of course. Okay. Well, you know, it looks like it could be a good show. We have no idea beyond that very basic premise what the story is, who any of these characters are. They're all new characters which is, again, something that Star Wars kind of needs. It's been relying on the legacy characters to mixed results. And, you know, maybe a whole bunch of new characters could be what it needs to, to get things going. Only time will tell, but I am very intrigued. It looks like some cool aliens. It looks like Carrion Moss is going to kick some ass in this, which, you know, we've seen her do in The Matrix, and it looked a little matrixy there, but... Uh... Maybe there won't be too much of that because, you know, the Matrix and the fighting and stuff looked a little Star Wars, right? You know, in in some ways, kind of like they were using the force. I don't know. Maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree there, but it looks like it could be good. And I'm going to check it out. I'm really surprised they went with Carrie Ann Moss. I think she's fine for the part, but, you know, she's a little older. And so you wouldn't think they would cast her, but I guess they decided they weren't going to be all ageist about it. And they cast an older actress in what appears to be the lead. So that's cool. But we're really going to have to wait and see if it's any good when it's released in June. And I, of course, will be back at that time to recap and review the premiere episodes. I'm going to get out of here for now until I return. May the force be with you.